What's going on, everybody? Uh, we just, I had this little idea for, for my nephews for Christmas, and I thought it'd be a great way. You saw on previous videos, we have a lot of new additions to our family. Um, about 36 baby guppies, uh, to be exact. So I thought this would be a great little gift idea around the holidays for, for my nephews. So what we did was I went ahead and ordered a 300 count of these four different colored, uh, they're like plastic acrylic style rocks. They're not really rocks, they're just plastic balls. But these are really, really cool. And I hope I can show you later on. I went ahead and also we got some, a couple little mason jars here, just some small ones. And we got some LED waterproof um, submersible here. Show that up, honey. Um, submersible lighting, and I just got a cool white color. So what we did was we went ahead and hot glued those to the lid. So you want to go ahead and turn turn those on and get them over this first container, and just kind of show them how that works, and then slip that lid over the top. I'm just, yeah, we're just going to hold it up here so you guys can kind of see. And it's kind of its own little mini um, aquarium. So we're going to, we're going to do that for the, the kids, for the, my nephews for the holidays, for Christmas. Hopefully my uh, brother and sisters don't get too upset that I'm gifting live animals for, for Christmas. But this is going to be a lot of fun. So next what we're going to do is kind of show you how this how how we're accomplishing that since these are already waterproof and then just turn uh left or right on or off we go ahead and take the little tea light candles mm -hmm. after you remove there's a little paper tab inside you just add a little bit of hot glue to the back there and you make sure they're spaced out enough we found that two was optimal you could probably get a third on there if you made it more triangular shape but it just seemed a little overkill two lights is really bright as you saw in the footage just a second ago and uh it's just a really cool little setup i'm actually going to turn these back on because i want to show you guys the finished product over here. I can't if I can do it with one hand. I can't. I don't think I can. Okay. I'm just gonna do that. So now we're we're letting them dry. I'd let them. We'll let them dry for a little bit, and we'll go ahead and set up the next the next two. And what we'll do afterwards, we kind of tacked the, the underside of it to the lid. And then what you go do later on is you just go back around the outsides, being careful you don't come up above that um, rubber washer there, that, that insulator, um, so you're still able to turn them on. Um, Here, feed that in there a little bit. There you go. Yeah, this is her first time using a hot glue gun, and I mean, she's doing it. So if she, could, if you know, if we could do it. You guys can do it. It's I a lot of fun. Well, so, I well mean, yeah. This is pretty easy comparatively. <clears throat> but yeah, what we'll do is we'll basically keep it below that seam, and then glue reinforce the the hot glue around the outsides just a little bit more, and that'll prevent them um, from coming off in the future. And if it is, if they do, it's, I mean, it's an easy fix. You could just as easily use, I would use a, probably a super glue gel would also be adequate for a nice little desktop top tank. And uh, we're just going to put a little bit of Java moss in these containers okay. and a moss ball uh, to create a, a little kind of uh, eco aquarium type thing. Because the plants are going to break, help break down the waste, create oxygen for the plants, uh, uh, grazing opportunities for the guppies in, in this case. Um, and also just a nice little accent to, you know, any like bedside table or dresser or whatever. Yeah, let's go ahead and shut the lights off and then show them the other cool little feature of these acrylic rocks, which I thought was really neat. 
So it's going to get a little dark here for a second, but we're going to show you what happens once the lights go out and the kids go to bed. So there you go. You can see that these rocks are very special because they glow an awesome color. And just with those little LEDs, that's sufficient to to get them going really nice. And then you'll see like little shadow see it shadows of little bit. shadows of the little fish just swimming around in the container. I can see it a little bit. But Maybe uh, yeah, you can't you can't really see the other ones too much, but yeah, you know, I'm trying to get it, but it won't show up. Um, but yeah. So we got the greens here. Blue actually comes out blue. This this kind of salmon color, this pinkish kind of color, um, actually comes out yellow, which is really neat. And then uh, there's a third that is more of kind of, I don't know, or a fourth, which I would say is kind of, what do you think? It's like a magenta-ish? Uh, yeah. Kind of like a hotter pink. But that comes out like this wacky, like deep, purple Deep. violet it's kind of very it's very cool but yeah just a quick little uh quick little idea for any gift givers that you know have some live bearers or something like that now they they won't be able to probably live their whole life in this they'll have to upgrade to a little bit bigger mason jar or something of that nature but uh i think this will be great for some some young fry with a little bit of established water for the biological media and couple plants that uh, require some low light and should keep them healthy and thriving until they get some, some size on them and they get them moved over to another another enclosure. But uh, yeah, that's just a little DIY on our little mason jar tanks. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to post them in the uh, comment section below. And as always, hit that like button and subscribe if you guys enjoy these videos. I'll be keeping you posted. Bye later.